As the race to win the contract to supply Thailand with the Gripen E and F-16 Block 70 heats up, it begs the question of which option Thailand is more likely to choose. Remarkably, both these options came into the picture after Thailand failed to secure the F-35, a fifth-generation fighter. Thai Air Force Chief Marshal Phan Pakti Patankul sheds light on this, suggesting that both the Gripen E and F-16 Block 70 present the most realistic alternatives since the purchase of the F-35 seems improbable. He notes, We have narrowed down our options to the Gripen E and the F-16 Block 70 since acquiring the F-35 has proved to be a tough task. He made these remarks on Saturday, March 23, 2024. The order seeks to cater to the needs of three squadrons that are currently flying older aircraft. Interestingly, each squadron in Thailand possesses 12 fighter aircraft. In terms of the procurement process, the Bangkok Post reports that Thailand, often referred to as the Land of the White Elephant, will begin procurement in stages starting October 2024. The process begins with procuring the first four units, followed by subsequent units in a phased manner. Notably, Thailand has an existing arsenal of 50 units of the older variant of the F-16, the F-16AB. Out of these, 36 are allocated to combat operations, while the remaining 14 are for training purposes. Furthermore, Thailand acquired 12 Gripen jets back in 2008. On the manufacturer's front, Lockheed Martin reveals that the F-16 Block 70 can significantly boost the combat prowess of the Thai Air Force. The F-16 Block 70 has undergone major upgrades and is touted to match the capabilities of the F-22 Raptor and F-35. A representative from Lockheed Martin earlier expressed in March, we strongly believe that the F-16 Block 70 will augment the Thai Air Force's capabilities while delivering next-generation performance to match the country's defence requirements. In contrast, SAIB is confident that its Gripen E's design will attract significant attention in Southeast Asia. Robert Bjorklund a representative from the manufacturer, revealed that the latest Grapen is expected to outperform its predecessor. More importantly, backed by immense support from the UK, he expressed optimism about selling 20 units of the Grapen E to Thailand. He added, A collaborative effort between Sweden and the UK is aimed at offering the most advanced capabilities for the Thai Air Force. Former British Foreign Secretary David Cameron was reportedly impressed by the performance of Thailand's Gripen fleet during a visit to a Thai Air Force squadron. As of 2016, the Royal Thai Air Force operated eight JS-39Cs and four JS-39Ds. After one of these jets crashed, they were left with 11 Gripens. However, in October 2013, the Thai government announced plans to acquire six additional Gripens. On paper, the Gripen E appears to have the upper hand over the F-16 Block 70. The main distinction lies in their respective radar systems. The Gripen E is equipped with the state-of-the-art Raven ES-0 5 Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA radar, delivering enhanced ranges and tracking capabilities, while the F-16 Block 70 is fitted with the AN-APG-83 Scalable Agile Beam Radar SIBA AESA radar. The Gripen E contains a unique network-centric warfare feature, allowing seamless communication with other allied units, be they on the ground, air or sea. The F-16 Block 70, although technologically advanced, lacks this function. When it comes to weaponry, the Gripen E's arsenal is more diverse than that of the F-16 Block 70, capable of carrying a wide array of missiles and bombs. Furthermore, the Gripen E boasts a shorter takeoff and landing distance, ideal for operations from smaller or compromised airfields. The F-16 Block 70, however, requires more runway space. Lastly, the Gripen E has been designed to ensure minimal operational and maintenance costs, going easy on the budget for many countries. The F-16 Block 70 is cost-effective too, but generally incurs higher operating and upkeep costs. 
In designing this aircraft, Saab opted for an unstable canard design. The canards provide a high pitch rate and low drag, allowing the aircraft to fly faster, farther and carry more weight. The combination of delta wing and canards gives the Gripen better performance in terms of flight characteristics as well as takeoff and landing. The totally integrated avionics make the aircraft capable of being programmed. The aircraft also has an internal electronic warfare suite, allowing it to carry a maximum load without compromising its electronic warfare capabilities. The desired capability for the Gripen from the start was to be able to take off from a runway 800 metres long. At the start of the project, all flights made from Saab's runway in Linkoping used as a reference a 9x800M grid line painted on the runway. The braking distance was also shortened by enlarging the air brakes, using surface control to press the aircraft down, making the brakes more powerful in pressing down, and the next step was to turn the canards forward, turning the canards into large air brakes to press the aircraft down even more. 